services across the European Union are stretched. In many countries, prisons are full to the brim, with occupancy of over 110% and rising. But more importantly, more than half of those inmates are re-offenders, which forces us to question the current rehabilitation services available on the inside. In most member states, policies on the provision of basic and vocational skills in prison already exist, but there is a need to provide better solutions for their implementation, starting not just at the time of release, but immediately from the prisoner's arrest, right the way through the period of imprisonment. But in the midst of a financial crisis, is this really the time to invest more money into helping ex-prisoners? Jonathan Lucas from the UN's Interregional Crime and Justice Research Institute says that we would not be wasting money, it would just be better spent. Already there's a lot of money going in because what is happening is that you have uh, people going out and coming back in prison. They are, they are re-offending, which is uh, in fact which is also a cost to society. Because what, we, what I think this panel is trying to uh, come up with is a proposal that we should really focus on social, re, uh, social rehabilitation, social reintegration from the very start. That is in fact the whole objective of it. You have to follow a person, because that person is going back to society. One too often forgets this. Indeed, there is logic to this argument. Instead of spending money on more prison places, it costs an estimated 70,000 euros a year to house each inmate, there is a strong case for redirecting that money towards prevention methods, including lifelong learning that will increase the individual's chance of employment and sense of responsibility. The question is, how far do we go? The Commission and European Social Fund have both financed projects that focus on ex-offenders in general. Although the EU has limited competence in prison matters, giving a second chance to offenders is a key element of the European social model and the EPP group's values. This was underlined by MEP Salvatore Iacolino, who organised today's hearing on the rehabilitation of former prisoners. Of course, social integration is of significant value for the European People's Party, but also the prevention for prisoners. A second chance for social redemption for people who have made a mistake, believing they will not make another one. Brother Conti has seen from first-hand experience how rehabilitation gives dignity and hope back to the individual. It is important to give them the possibility of redemption, give them the dignity. That's why in our community we give them the opportunity to work in different areas, such as cleaning, cooking in warehouses, as a carpenter, a welder, but also in art and ceramics. This is the primary aim, to give them back hope, give them back the possibility of rehabilitation, because a society that leaves them alone cannot be a fair society. In fact, recent findings in the UK alone have shown that inmates serving longer sentences, which allow prison services the time to tackle their criminal behaviour, have significantly lower reoffending rates. Although we can take on board this progress, one can't help but wonder if the answer is to put more into society before people commit the crimes. After all, can society really forgive and forget? Only time will tell, but perhaps we are on the verge of a rehabilitation revolution. For more information about our group's activities on these and other issues, please visit our website at eppgroup.eu. I'm Gemma Slaymaker, reporting for EPP TV. Thank you for watching.